Well, hello there, my fellow codfish. Good times. So Scott here bringing you some tips, some tricks on how to get an easy Moab on infected. Now, I know it's been quite some time since I last made a Modern Warfare 3 video, so I apologize for that. But my health and reasons like that have prevented me from making and playing this game for quite a few months. But I'm starting to get back into it. I started making some videos on Minecraft again. Now I'm trying my hand in, once again at Call of Duty. Now, if you want to know anything more about where I've been and such, you can click the link down in the corner there. There it is. And you can see Scarland and the Scarland transportation system from above. So it's kind of a nice video if you want to take a look. But let's get to the video at hand. Some tips, some tricks on how to get an easy Moab on Infected. Now, Infected has become my new favorite game mode for the time. When people come on to this game mode, it seems like they are there to have fun and to be more friendly, to kind of just to have a fun conversation, kind of goof around, which is really nice. Sometimes we play Call of Duty way too seriously and take ourselves and generally the game just a little too serious. So it's fun to kind of have this chilled out game mode where people are just having fun goofing around. So my current strategy here is to kind of lay back a little bit. I've kind of rolled out a sleeping bag. I'm thinking about popping a tent and enjoying some color books while I wait for the infected side to grow its numbers of players. Because at the beginning, the game is a little slow and boring. It's a good time to have a conversation, goof around with people. So that's what I like to do at the beginning of the game like right now. We're kind of waiting for the other side, like I said, to grow its numbers so we can actually have some fun. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep a low profile because there's nothing worse than at the beginning of the game getting a random throwing knife hits you from nowhere and then you're stuck on the other side and it's not so much fun on that side because I don't know if you guys remember from past videos I've explained I'm actually knife challenged. It's kind of like I'm wheeling my wheelchair with one arm and I'm kind of flailing the other knife in the other arm. I'm not going to hit anything. So when I'm on the other side, it's pretty much negative KD land all day long. So I like to stay on this side as long as possible. So that's why I'm kind of laying back, waiting for the numbers to grow. Keep an eye on my right side here because that's the danger side. I know my Mac's protected, but my right side's the one that is vulnerable. So what I'm going to do here is pull back, get down into the subway. And I'm thinking about protecting there or here. Now I decide here because I can get quite a few little choke points blocked off here. What I'm concerned about at the moment here is the throwing knife from the guy that takes his time and is more methodical about how he's going to approach the situation. All these guys are just running in here with no care or thought. I'm not sure why they do that. I would never do that. But see, there's always a guy back there that's thinking. He's trying to aim his throwing knife and pop you out without just running in there dying, running in there dying. So I'm actually giving you more tips on how not to uh, be a bad infected player, but that's the strategy I have for this game is watch out for the methodical guy who's sitting in the back aiming that throwing knife at you because that's either me or I'm watching out for you. Well, it looks like the Moab's dropping, this game's a wrapping, and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you want to see some more, there's some awesome Modern Warfare 3 gameplay video down there and also a super awesome Minecraft video if you guys want to take a look at that. And if you want to see more of this or Black Ops or Skyrim, let me know in the comments section. I always really appreciate your guys' feedback on my videos. And until next time, we'll see you later.